I can't do this uh, franchisee training, fish donut store thing anymore. Why not? Well, a billion reasons. Name two. Well, I can't wear the hat anymore. It's just, it's too humiliating. Good first reason. What's the second? I, I, I can't take orders from that that, that 17 year old. It's, 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 he acts like a drill instructor. It's just too weird. Reminds me of being in the army. You were never in the army. I know, but if I had been, it'd be reminding me of it. And I'd be thinking, geez, here we go again. I thought it was true at the army. And if I had been, I'd probably still have a gun. And I'm telling you, this is the kind of kid, he'd make me lose my good, bring that gun into work one day. Good thing you were never in the army. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, so. Looks like I'm not gonna be selling fish donuts. Why not have a machine do it? <laughs> Gavin, I wonder sometimes, just what is in that head of yours, man? Have a machine do it. Like, no one's gonna notice it's a robot and not me? I mean, you know, uh, hello, my name is Jeff. Where are your donut units? What is love? Come on. I meant sell donuts out of a vending machine. Well, <laughs> okay, well that's completely different. Hey, buddy. Yeah. What were you talking about when you said get a, a vending machine and put donuts in it? Yeah, create a fish donuts vending machine. You could simply take uh, an RS-5523 sensor unit and modify it. Or hell, you could just get a Food Quest Series B. Give it a few tweaks and you're in business. It's all really gonna come down to your SDR. My SDR? Yeah, your snack delivery, well, donut delivery requirement in this case. <laughs> no, you, you get a Bonaire Food Queen. Duh, of course. You just, you hook up the water, you put it in the mix and it'll spit them right out. And those things you can get really cheap secondhand. Why'd you become the dean of uh, vending machines? I just sort of naturally fell into it. You know, in university, I used to live off vending machine food, which led to learning how to trick the machines out of free stuff, which led to a part-time job repairing them, which led to helping design the Jetstar 9000, still considered by many to be the Rolls Royce of vending machines, which then led to a very lucrative contract on the chief design team at Casco Vending Industries. The only problem with them was you can never get anything done, way too much red tape. So I quit after three months. It's no big deal. I don't talk about it much. When did Lamp call? A second ago. Well, what do you want? Oh, you seem pretty happy. I think he wants to invite you for dinner for a celebration. Oh, yeah? yeah. Hey, maybe he wants to thank me for saving his life. Hey, hey. Maybe he wants to make me a mafia don. Wouldn't that be cool? Mm -hmm. Then no one messes with you anymore. Then you get respect. You walk down the street, people give you both sides of it. Then I could walk into one of those fish donuts training sessions. And then when little Ernie says, hey, maggot, you're late. I say, yeah, that's right. And to celebrate, why don't you get down and give me 20? But before you do, kiss the ring. And if he didn't? Oh, that's the coolest part. I could have them whacked. And because I'm a Don, no one's allowed to whack me back. Yeah, well, you wouldn't really have a little Ernie whacked, would you? No, I guess you're right. But I'll tell you what I would do. I would have one of my goons give him a spanking that guy would never forget. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that clever? <laughs> Isn't it? You see, and by selling day-olds, I can double my profits right off the bat. And when you heat them up, they are so good. Better than fresh, I think. I was going to use a light bulb, but uh, I realized that the heat from the machine itself would do it, so. Yeah, save money on light bulbs. Exactly. It's good thinking. Yep. So um, the question is, if I use my day-old donuts and I heat them up, making them virtually indistinguishable from fresh donuts, can I put a sign on the machine that says fresh? No, and I'll tell you why. That would be breaking countless consumer protection laws as well as violating a couple of health code regulations as well. Okay. How about if I spell it 
F R E A S H. F A S H? Uh -huh. No. Okay. No. How about P H R E S H? N O. Uh, uh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, how about we put a disclaimer on it that says, uh, you know, uh, um, blah, 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 blah. A disclaimer. I could help you with a disclaimer. I could probably write something up that would protect your ass, so to speak. But I got to tell you, I feel dirty doing it. That's the spirit, Bernie. You'll have to be in plain sight. Yeah, no problem. Okay. What else? You got locations for these vending machines? Where are you going to put them? Um, not yet, but I'm having dinner tonight with Vladimir, and he's going to thank me for saving his life. And uh, he's got some influence over shopping malls, so I'm going to ask him to do me a favoir. Vladimir? Mm -hmm. Isn't Vladimir a little upset that you slept with Dorota? Yes and no. Well, he can't be too happy you got it on with Natalie. Uh, okay, well, first of all, I didn't know that Dorota was Natalie's mother, right? And uh, I never closed a deal. And secondly, um, he doesn't know. Uh-huh. Well, what does Dorota think about Natalie? Mm, doesn't know. Okay. Natalie's not upset that you slept with her mother? Uh, no, no. Okay, so isn't this going to be kind of weird there, sitting at the dinner table, all three of them? No, because uh, the women aren't going to be there. They're in Paris or Prague or someplace. I mean, I'm not a complete idiot, you know. Are you sure? 